Two Minute Tutor here. Hey, today we're going to look at this particular question. Why does the current increase when a PSC motor or shaded pole motor is run on high speed and why does the current decrease when you run it on a lower speed? Well, first of all, you have to reference what kind of windings are being used inside of these particular motors. They are a split phase type motor, so you have pole windings of both start and run. And these windings are going to determine first the speed of the motor when it's getting its proper amp draw. Now, when you take a PSC motor or even a shaded pole motor, you're going to have windings. You're going to have a run winding. And in that run winding, we're going to tap on it or we're going to tap into it and we're going to have several different resistances within that run winding. If we use the entire run winding from this point right here, which we'll call L, to this point right here, called C, then the motor will have a specific amp draw that will relate to the amount of resistance and the amount of voltage that's being applied to it. But what if we took the winding and we shortened it up? And let's say we put a tap in here, we'll call that M, and now, when we supply power to it, instead of supplying power to L and go out C, now we'll supply power to M and we'll go out C. Now, the amount of resistance has dropped. There is less resistance in the winding. That means, according to Ohm's law, you're going to have more amp draw. With voltage remaining constant and the resistance dropping, the amp draw has to go up. But wait, let's go a step further. Let's go down into the winding and go down and we'll tap into the winding even a little further down and we'll call this one H. And with this configuration, the power, if it comes in on H, it's now going to go through even less winding. Now, if it's going through less winding, that means less resistance. That means more amp draw with voltage remaining constant. Now, what's going to happen with the motor? Well, with a PSC motor, if you're running on high speed, H, you're going to have a certain amp draw that's going to go with that. And that amp draw, we'll just say, for instance, is 5 amps. That's going to give us a magnetic field that's going to allow the rotor to come up to speed, and it will run the sync not the sinker it will run the actual speed of a four pole or a six pole motor now if i add more resistance by changing the winding from high to medium now with going through more now with going through more uh, resistance that's going to cause maybe the amp draw to drop to four amps at four amps my magnetic field is not going to be as strong and the rotor is going to slip and it's going to go slower. Now using that same principle, if I go from this point to this point, disconnect off of M and connect to L, now if I go from C to L, now I've got even more resistance and maybe now it only runs 3 amps because with the added resistance it is now going to have a lower amp draw according to Ohm's law. With three amps, my magnetic field has dropped even further, and with a drop in the magnetic field, the motor is going to slip, the rotor is going to slip even more, giving me a lower speed. So, why is the current higher on high speed? Because the resistance is lower. Why is the current lower on the lower speed? It is lower because the resistance is higher. Can't say it any simpler than that. Two Minute Tutor, out.